All right, rumor has it we're live. Uh, this is unconfirmed, but uh, hopefully this is working. <laughs> let me know. Uh, let me know if it is. Um, I should be able to see everything that's going on here. So anyway, yeah, I'm doing a, a different setup today, but regardless, happy Friday, everybody. Happy Black Friday. I hope you all had an amazing Thanksgiving for those of you who were able to celebrate it this year. And uh, yeah, and and remember, Black Friday. Let's let's be smart. Let's uh, not spend all of our money in one place, right? Um, anyway, yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully your Black Friday is excellent. Today we're going to be talking about how to make sure that it's excellent, at least when it comes to your streaming stuff. So streaming devices. Uh, even maybe some streaming services, if we can get to those, um, we'll see how it goes. But, you know, also just some general merriment. I want to hear how you guys' uh, Thanksgiving week has been. So make sure you join in the conversation over in the chat box. And, uh, uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll do my best to respond to them. So, in case you couldn't tell, I am, uh, I'm in a location that I have broadcast from before. This is, uh, this is my in-law's house. Um, I'm, it's not technically like my parents' basement. It's my wife's parents' uh, adjacent apartment. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I have broadcast from here before. Um, it's a little bit different setup, so I don't get to do all the normal things that I do as far as, um, you know, putting uh, people's comments on screen and that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, that's how these streams go sometimes, right? But we'll manage. We'll, we'll still be able to uh, have a good time. So... Um, Adam is uh, most thankful for Craig's man bun, and that makes sense. Uh, I think we're all thankful for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, in case you needed a good laugh uh, for your Black Friday, there you go. There's your there's your laugh for Black Friday. <laughs> uh, William Max says hello from Apple Cup Country. I don't know what that is. What's Apple Cup? Apple Cup Country. Um, Sylvia, hello. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, indeed. Mine was excellent because um, I know you were all wondering. It was pretty traditional, all the fixings. So, um, uh, let's see, Joel says, I got the Fire TV Stick 4K, I like it, and that's good. So, let's maybe that's a good place to start, okay? Maybe, maybe we should start there with the Fire Stick 4K. Okay, so we're going to be talking about a few deals. Oftentimes, the not, not all the best, but many of the best um, online deals you'll find on Amazon. And because you're on Amazon, Amazon devices... Uh, you know, it's, it's a real thing. So let's take a look at the Fire Stick 4K and what they're doing with that this year. I'm just going to put this on screen right now, see if this works. Hey, there it is. All right. The best part of this is I can kind of like, I, I get to kind of peek around the corner at the, at the devices. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. It's on sale. All right. So the Fire Stick 4K, this is the, uh, the one that's normally 50 bucks. This one they've dropped down to $24.99. Um, and let's see if I can, can I, uh, yeah, I can interact with this a little bit. So yeah, there we go. Um, so this is, this one, yeah, normally 50 bucks right now it's $24.99 and we're going to talk about how that compares, but, um, somebody who was it that said, uh, like Joel said, I got the fire TV stick 4k. I like it. Good. I'm glad you did. Especially because now it's got this, uh, this new remote on there, uh, with the, the better Alexa button. It's. I think it's a slightly better remote, but I know a lot of people will hate those uh, those buttons toward the bottom of the remote, kind of those ad buttons there with uh, Prime Video, Netflix, and Disney Plus, and Hulu. Um, not everybody's going to like those, but uh, I, I don't mind them, honestly, especially if you use any or all of those services. It's nice to have a little shortcut button. So there you go, 50% off the Fire TV Stick 4K. But the question is, uh, is that... Is that the best one for you to get? I would submit that it is not. The Fire TV Stick 4K is great, but um, if you watched my review from, oh gosh, a month or two ago, the Fire Stick 4K Max overshadows it. It's quicker, it's more responsive, the load times are faster, uh, the, the buttons on the remote have even less lag time uh, than the Fire Stick 4K. Uh, so, if you want to check out the 4K Max, we'll pull that one up. You can see the remote on that one is pretty similar. Um, that's oh yeah, is this the no? This is the wrong one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the wrong one. We don't we don't we don't want to do that. We want to look at this one. 
There we go. Yeah, this one. So this one normally retails for fifty-five dollars. Uh, this one's thirty-six percent off, so thirty-five bucks. Um, yeah, you can do a trade-in. I don't know. If, I, I'd be interested to hear if you guys have ever done a trade-in on these devices. Um, I've never done one, but uh, um, that's because I, I tend to keep the devices around to compare and contrast and keep testing and all that stuff. But anyway, yeah, the Fire Stick 4K Max for 35 bucks is a great deal. It's uh, I think that's a fantastic deal. So if you are on the hunt for a Fire TV device, that's the one I would probably steer you toward right now. Um, especially because it kind of future-proofs you. Um, it's got all the, the regular 4K, HDR, yeah, Dolby this and that, all the bells and whistles that you would expect. But it also has Wi-Fi 6 capabilities uh, that the regular 4K uh, fire stick doesn't have. Um, and so that's kind of future proofing you a little bit. Um, so for an extra, what is that? An extra 10 bucks. I think that's pretty worth it. Here's what you don't do. Um, all right. What you don't do, and I'm going to get back to your comments in just a moment. Uh, but what you don't do is go, uh, let's see. Here's okay. This is the one, the fire TV stick light for 18 bucks. That looks awesome, right? Uh, the Fire TV Stick Lite for 18 bucks. Um, it's our most affordable Fire Stick. Uh, but the only problem is, uh, take a little closer look at this remote. What's it missing? Well, you don't have the uh, ad buttons, right? With the Netflix and the Hulu and the Prime Video. Like, those are all missing, which some people I think will think is good. But you also don't have any TV controls on this remote. And as far as I'm concerned, that is not <laughs> good. <laughs> See, I'm look, I'm very eloquent today, okay? That is not good. Um, so the Fire TV Stick Lite, uh, it's $2 cheaper, or was it $2? Yeah, no, wait, hang on, we gotta go back, we gotta look, um, we gotta look at the Fire Stick 4K, that one was 25 bucks. Okay, so for, what, $7 more, you get the Fire TV Stick 4K, so you get a better stick, faster, better remote, better picture, all of those things for 7 bucks more. Um, and for a few bucks more than that, you can get the Fire Stick 4K Max. Yeah, anyway, point being, do not bother with the Fire TV Stick Lite. Um, it's, if you are, if you're legitimately cash strapped and that seven bucks makes a huge difference to you, then maybe. I mean, you know your budget better, better than I do. But in that case, I'm betting that there are better places that the, uh, that, that you know, 18 to 25 dollars could go so <laughs> anyway so yeah if we're quibbling about seven bucks then definitely go with the 4k anyway all right so uh now that i've got you here let me uh let me just uh check in on a few of the uh comments that we've got going on and then i'll come back and we'll, we'll talk about a few more deals um, and also, by the way, I'm sorry, this is only broadcasting on YouTube uh, today. I apologize for that. Um, uh, and I'll get to that in just a moment. Okay. So yeah, there are no, no Facebook comments happening today. Um, well, let's see, Matthew coming in from Edmonton, Alberta. All right. Welcome. Um, when I played Blades of Steel on my NES system back in the, uh, late eighties, the Oilers were always my team. So Hats off to you, sir. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh, okay. William Mack says uh, Washington State versus UW is uh, the the Apple Cup. Uh, that's interesting because I, uh, you know, as many of you know, I'm I grew up in Seattle. I lived there for a while, but uh, uh, college. I wasn't into college football and during the times that I lived there, so. That that one escapes me. I'm I live out in Utah where we have the Holy War, BYU versus Utah. So uh, that's already happened, and BYU won because, well, you know, it was awesome. Um, let's see. John says, "Happy Black Friday." Nothing beating Fire Stick deals so far for streaming, and that's true. I think that's true. Uh, from Toronto. Oh my gosh, another uh, another Canadian. So we've got Toronto and Ed and Edmonton coming in. Um, that's fantastic. Okay, so Carlos asks, Roku Stick and Soundbar are on sale for 70 bucks. Is the Soundbar any good? That's a great question. Uh, is the Soundbar any good? Let's take a look at um, Fire Stick 4K. Oh no, this page is coming up wrong. What's going on here? Oh my gosh, that's, I can't, 
I can't make it work. <laughs> oh no. Um, but you know what we can do? We just look right down here. Oh, is it gonna? Okay, whatever. So the uh, the f streaming stick 4K. Okay, so well, let's talk a little bit about Roku and maybe we can pull up a different page. But the streaming stick 4K is on sale for 29 bucks if you're shopping on Amazon. Uh, you, I'm sure you can get it other places as well, probably for about the same price. But anyway, yeah, that, that $29 for the streaming stick 4K is a fantastic deal. I like it a lot. Um, so if you're looking for a streaming stick and you're leaning toward Roku, then go for it. Um, and by the way, speaking of Roku, what I am not doing today is getting into <laughs> any of the the issues, the, you know, Roku versus Google and, you know, who's carrying this service and not, you know, anyway, I'm, I'm leaving all of that out of it. I, I know that that is going to be a factor in your decision making, uh, but I'm not sure that we're going to have uh, all the time that we would want to get into that sort of thing. So forgive me, but uh, I'll just say if you're looking at Roku, that is a great deal. So the other question uh, the other question from Carlos was, uh, the soundbar is on sale for 70 bucks. Uh, is the soundbar any good? Yes, the soundbar, the Roku soundbar is good. Is it the best soundbar out there? No, absolutely not. But you do get a 4K uh, Roku device in a decent soundbar, which is a great deal for 70 bucks as far as I'm concerned. Uh, normally, what does it go for? 120, 130, something like that. Um, so it's not the the Roku soundbar isn't the same as the like super budget uh, soundbars out there. You can get some soundbars for 50 bucks, you know, uh, even some lower than that. Um, and I've always said that those are really just a tiny step up from your TV speakers. Um, so to to Let's let's talk about soundbars for a moment because you guys might be looking at some of those online today and you know through Monday. I guess we still have Cyber Monday to go. Oh my gosh, I'm old. My knee is killing me. Um, with soundbars, those really cheap soundbars, basically they take uh, you got it. You got a TV on your wall. And, whoop! I can't even keep my hands straight on this. <laughs> you got a TV on your wall with the screen facing you, and they tuck the speakers back behind the screen and shoot the sound off the wall so that it bounces off and comes back to you, okay? So that's how it works. That's how they kind of solve the problem of not having very much edge on your TV, right? Without much bezel on your TV, there's not much room for speakers. So they just shoot it out the back of the TV and bounce it off the wall, okay? So what a really cheap soundbar does is it takes the same incredibly cheap, very non-powerful uh, speakers, and it, it puts them in a sound bar that shoots that sound forward. So is that better than shooting it off the wall? Yes, absolutely. You get a, a clearer, um, less mitigated sound from your sound bar, which is good. It'll be a little louder, a little clearer, uh, but it's not much better if we're being honest. Uh, you're not getting much bass out of them, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so those, but they are a step above your TV speakers. The Roku soundbar is another step above those. They're not great, the, the Roku soundbars, they're not great, but they are good. And you are gonna get better bass response um, and you get more direct sound, clearer sound, all that stuff. So are they, is it worth 70 bucks? If you aren't hunting around for the best sound out there, uh, you just want decent sound, uh, and you want fewer devices, then yeah, it's a great option. You get that Roku device integrated into your soundbar. Yeah, so for 70 bucks, um, as Carlos is talking about, yeah, I, I'd say that is a good deal if it's something you're thinking about. If you look at a deal like that, and this is a, a good Black Friday thing, I think, for us all to keep in mind. If you're looking at a deal like that, and you think to yourself, oh, you know, I never considered the Roku soundbar before, but if it's on a sale, if it's on Black Friday sale, maybe I should get it. No, you shouldn't get it. Um, but if it's something that you've thought about getting in the past and you were just kind of hesitating on pulling the trigger, uh, now it's on a Black Friday deal, that's a good idea. Then it, then it's okay to get it, I think. Anyway, does all that make sense? So great, great question uh, from Carlos. Uh, let's see, David McKinnon, good to be back, hanging live. I agree, it is good, I'm glad you're back. Um, 
And uh, you, okay, so let's let's talk about today's live stream. As you can see, I don't have any of the normal you know stuff up in the corners. I I don't I can't put your comments on the screen. It's simply because I'm in a different location uh, with a different setup. <clears throat> Vacations throw everything off, um, and I am technically on vacation right now. But hey, you know what? what what's an hour? right? So we can hang out for an hour. <laughs> but because I can't do all that stuff, and because uh, almost the entire reviews.org team is uh, is out right now, I do not have a winner for last week's giveaway that we started. So you can still go to the uh, description here on YouTube, and you can click the link to reviews.org slash giveaways. Um, there's a new uh, a new giveaway that should be happening now, um, and you can enter to uh, to win that one. But if you are chosen as the winner of last week's giveaway, I won't be able to announce that right now, but we are going to email that person early next week. So I hope that doesn't uh, disappoint anybody, but I'm just not able to make any announcements right now. Um, just because I, I don't know who the winner is. Uh, the, uh, the, the person who selects that winner isn't around to do so, so, you know. That's just how it goes sometimes. Um, all right. Let's see what we got. Shout out from... Carlos, you're in Bolivia? We've got a New Orleans. We've got a Bolivia. That's fantastic. London with Adam P. The uh, Adam P. He of the uh, man bun love. Uh, so <laughs> welcome, everybody. This is crazy. We need to... Um, I need to have a little chat with um, with people about what we can do to, to be a little more... Uh, helpful to you folks uh, not in the U.S. We've got Canada, we've got the U.K., we've got uh, Bolivia. That's really cool. Um, but I, I know that we do mostly um, U.S.-centric stuff, so sorry about that. But uh, but it's still fun to hang out, so I'm, I'm really glad you guys are here. It's really fun. Um, all right. The... I'm not sure. I just got a Black Friday email from email from Roku. The soundbar is 80 bucks. Okay, let's let's look this up. Okay, I think we got a second. Let's let's look this up. Uh, we'll do Roku soundbar. I thought I saw it for 70. I could be wrong, but you know what? That might have been maybe like an early morning thing. Or who knows? Uh, let's take a look at it. 80 bucks. Roku soundbar. Okay, I think I can actually share this page with you guys, but give me just one second. Um, we're going to do a browser window. Okay, we'll do the uh, Roku soundbar. Okay. And... 80. Okay, all right, this should pull it in for me. Does this work? Did it work? Did it work? Hey, there it is. All right. This, oh man, it's the same thing. They did this with the other Roku device on Amazon as well. Sorry about that. But uh, let's take a look and see what it says here. Yeah, it is uh, listing it. You can see right down here. Okay, so this item, it's hilarious. They say, to see product details, add this item to your cart. Well, we may not get all the details, but we can at least get the price right down here. I'm, I'm a little bit limited on what I can do in these browser windows. So that's why that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. So sorry about that. But yeah, you guys are right. It is up to 80 bucks now. Still, I think what I was saying earlier still applies, even if it's 10 bucks more. It's, um, uh, yeah, it is definitely a notch better than the cheaper soundbars out there. And it's a great 4K Roku device integrated. So yeah, I can recommend that with no problem. Um, yeah, hope that helps. Okay. Let's see. Who am I missing here? David says, I have a Roku soundbar and love it. It decreases the sound of commercials. The sound coming from it is pretty good. Yeah, that's, and that's like, that's exactly the phrase I would use to describe it. Pretty good. But I don't, the problem with the phrase pretty good often coming from me, I don't know about you guys, but when I say something is pretty good, I feel like that comes off negatively because we often use it that way. Yeah, it's pretty good. But no, what I, I guess what I mean is more like, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> if you can, if, the, if there's a distinction in there for you to find, then you go ahead and find it. Um, so for 80 bucks, yeah, the, uh, the Roku soundbar is good. The sound is pretty good. And yeah, it does have that automatic leveling. 
Um, that, and that's more Roku software rather than soundbar software. Um, but, uh, but yeah, either way, it's great. Um, uh, William, I, how are you today? I'm all right. You know, I'm feeling pretty good. I, I, when I left you guys last week, I had an absolutely insane weekend in front of me. Um, and for four or five nights in a row, I got, you know, four hours of sleep a night and it was just exhausting. Uh, but now I'm down here hanging out with family and, uh, resting up and I feel a lot better. So how am I today? I'm great. How are you? I hope it's as good for you as it is for me this weekend. Um, okay. So the crusty boy asks, is $14.99 for a Roku Express a good deal? Okay. Maybe. Is it the regular Roku Express or is it the Roku Express 4K? Um, let's, let's look it up. Okay. The Roku Express looks like Walmart is selling it for 15 bucks. Is it a good idea? Um, okay, let's hang on. Let me uh, let me pull up a page so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Um, okay, looks like I've yeah I found it on The Verge. So let's let's put that particular page on here. Uh, Roku Express. Oops. Okay. This, I know it's scintillating live streaming when I'm sitting here setting up, you know, pages to show you, but hey, we do what we have to do, right? All right. And let's bring that in the Roku Express. Okay, here we go. This is, uh, this is from The Verge, and we don't need more than the headline, so it's okay. I can't really scroll down right now. Um, but if we take a look at that page, it says, Roku's street, uh, cheapest streaming box is this $15 Black Friday special for Walmart. Or you could buy something better for an extra five bucks, uh, which is pretty much exactly how I feel about it. Um, is it is it good? Uh, no, not really, but it is cheap. Um, and cheap can be good. But in this case, I would say if you are, if you're thinking about a budget device, I wouldn't go with that one. The lag time on the input, the load times are super slow. Uh, the lack of 4K, et cetera, et cetera. It's kind of a thing where um, uh, Walmart and Roku, they know that the Roku Express that they're advertising, it's on its last legs. They're not really updating it anymore. The picture quality is outdated. Everything is super outdated. And so they're just trying to unload them. Um, and so they're putting them on this sale because if they don't, otherwise they'll just toss them in the garbage. But that's kind of where they belong. <laughs> For being honest, they're not very good. So no, 15 bucks Roku Express, great question, don't get it. Go for the, uh, we talked earlier about the Fire Stick 4K, which you can get for 25, so that's 10 bucks more. Uh, for 20 bucks more, you can get the uh, 4K Max um, for, thir for 35 bucks. Either of those would be much, much better options. Um, and yeah, I, I would go with those personally. Over And this is, to be clear, I love Roku, and if you can get a really good Roku device, then great. Um, but I, I think the Fire Sticks are probably a better bet around that kind of the the under fifty price range. The Fire Sticks are going to be a better bet right now. So, um, okay, Aloha from Hawaii. Wow. Okay. Sorry, I'm just catching up on chat here. Peacock deal is still having problems. Is adding the promo code is, oh boy, so Peacock's having problems. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, I was gonna talk about that, but if they're having problems, maybe we'll skip past that. Um, okay, Fraden. Fraden says, doesn't feel like much of a Black Friday since a lot of these places started their Black Friday pricing weeks, uh, weeks ago. In some cases, some cases even months ago. Yeah, it's it's getting out of hand. It used to be it used to be a chaotic but kind of fun and interesting event, this whole Black Friday and then Cyber Monday thing. But it's it's spilled over. And um, yeah, I, I, I don't care for that. Uh, as you know, we at Reviews.org, we are not against consumerism. We know that we, we all need to buy things and we, we all consume things. And that's totally fine. 
but being smart about it is another uh, another thing altogether. And that's what we're here to help you guys do um, is be smart about it. And I don't like the constant fake sales, the, like the fake Black Friday sales. Uh, yeah, it drives me crazy. So I wish they would just keep it to Black Friday, but hey, I don't get everything I want. So, um, all right. Let's see, Romeo, streaming services should make a better deal on yearly plans as well. Fingers crossed, hopefully they have them by Cyber Monday uh, deals. Yeah, those. Uh, the problem with that, and I, it would be great, I, I agree with you, it would be awesome if they gave us great deals. And as somebody mentioned, there was a Peacock deal, but that's having a little trouble. Um, and you can often get deals, like the, um, right now you can get the Chromecast, the new Chromecast device, if you sign up for a month of, somebody tell me which one it is. Who's doing it? Is it, it's not Hulu. It's not, oh shoot, not HBO Max. I, I need to look it up again. One of the, uh, one of the streaming services is doing a, a big deal with, um, uh, with the Chromecast. I, I'm gonna look it up, okay? So anyway, yeah, it'd be great if they did. The problem with it is, that um, when you get uh, when when you take a closer look at these streaming services, their uh, their uh, profit margins are actually pretty slim compared to some of the devices. Um, and because of those slim profit margins, it uh, it hurts a little bit more to do big mega Black Friday deals. So you'll often see something out there. Uh, but they're usually not as, you know, they're not marquee events the way that devices are, like TVs and streaming devices and stuff like that. So um, I think that's largely why that's the case. Uh, the Chromecast with Google TV, here it is. Um, so you can, uh, let's see, if you go to buy the Chromecast with Google TV, normally it's 50 bucks. Right now you can get it for 40. So that's uh, what, 20% uh, off, not bad. Um, you can also, oh, here it is. You can bundle the Chromecast with Google TV uh, with Netflix for six months of Netflix for 90 bucks. So if you do that, six months of Netflix um, plus the Google Chromecast, if you do the deal, it works out where the device actually only costs you $6. Not bad. Uh, and as you guys know, if you've been watching this channel for a while, I love the, the new Chromecast. So um, so that is a great deal. Oh, that's what it is. HBO max. Awesome. So, okay. So there's one for sling TV. If you sign up for sling TV, uh, with a month of service, that's it. You get a month of sling TV and they'll include the new Chromecast at no charge, uh, which is pretty great. If you feel like you need sling, don't sling, don't sign up for sling just because of that necessarily, but Hey, I mean, I guess you could if you plan on canceling. Um, and new HBO Max subscribers. So this is new subscribers to HBO Max can bundle three months of service uh, for 65 bucks, bringing the device price effectively down to 20. And so you got to sign up, prepay for three months of service, and then you get the device. Uh, so that's a pretty good deal. Um, anyway, so the new Chromecast, I don't have the page here to show you guys. I apologize for that. Uh, but anyway, that is available for you. Um, let's see, one other thing you can do. Um, let's see, let me, let me see if I can pull up this. Oh, I wanted to see if you can do the, oh no, okay. So, never mind. I thought there was a, a, a cool target trick we could do, but yeah, not so much right now. Uh, okay. Let's see what else you guys have to say. Uh, Tony says, my budget LG soundbar is very disappointing. I removed it from my main room in favor of my center channel speaker. Wow, okay. Maybe there's a worthy LG soundbar recommendation. Um, LG, yeah, I'm sure there is. Uh, they're gonna, they're going to cost you a little bit more, probably just honestly, just for getting the LG logo on there. Um, if you want a good replacement, look up Polk, P-O-L-K, um, and you can get a Polk soundbar, usually for like, 150 to 200, somewhere in that range, uh, usually closer to the 150 mark. 
uh, and they've got a really good soundbar plus subwoofer combination. And the nice thing about those, is the, the new systems these days, when you get a subwoofer, a lot of people are afraid of those subwoofers. They're like, look, I don't want to, I'm not looking to rattle the stuff on the walls. I don't need this super bass response. Uh, but with the new subwoofers, they are fully adjustable. And so you can adjust them to your liking um, and your environment. So maybe you don't need a ton of bass, but you know, you just want a little bit to round out the sound a little bit. The subwoofers can do that. Um, so that's what I would maybe point you toward. If you're looking for a replacement for that LG bar, look up Polk. Um, okay. Are the, uh, this is from Greg, are the Fire TV streaming devices the only streamer out there that allows a user to integrate multiple live TV apps into one live TV guide? Ooh, good question. I haven't tried to do that with the uh, the Chromecast. Um, so, oh gosh, now I need to think about it. It might be. I bet the Apple TV does it. Uh, yeah, I bet the Apple TV does it, but I haven't tried that. Gosh, now I wish I was in my studio and <laughs> we could test that out. That's a great question, Greg. I, I'm going to take that question. I'm going to test that out this week and see if I can find an answer for you. In the meantime, if you find out, let me know. Um, Let's see, William asks, where am I at on vacation? I'm at my in-law's house right now, uh, just enjoying some rest and relaxation. It's a very relaxing place to be. So uh, yeah, that's why I don't have the normal stuff on screen and bells and whistles and I don't know. I don't know what this, this is entertainment, okay? I don't have the normal entertainment, so I'm doing that instead. Um, okay. All right. Uh, William Max says the under 50 price range if it's not 4k and no TV controls no way that's how I feel about streaming devices too um, they they do have their place I guess but I think that their time is limited I used to be much more forgiving of them than I am now uh, but the the device landscape is just changing too much I don't think there's as much room for them these days um, Oh, this is cool. Uh, Frayden says Amazon Music is giving you six free months of Disney Plus. That's fantastic. Uh, six free months of Disney Plus with Amazon Music. That's good. I like that. Um, okay, good. So Alex says Chromecast integrates YouTube TV and Sling plus a few more free services. I thought so. Um, it's one of those questions you hesitate to answer it authoritatively unless you've got the stuff right next to you and I don't have my stuff here. So uh, thank you for confirming that. Uh, Ms. Simmons, do you think Philo is good? I do. I did. I do. I do think Philo is good. The uh, One of the problems is that most of what Philo is going to offer you, you can get elsewhere for cheaper. If you... Uh, so, okay. Breaking down Philo. If you're looking at a Philo deal, or if you, you know, maybe you just you're getting one of these new streamers and you're thinking about adding Philo to it. Philo is, I think it's still 20 bucks a month. Did they bump it to 25? I think it's still 20 bucks a month. You get live TV, uh, a lot of cable channels, but no news and no sports, or at least very little news and no sports. Um, and so a lot of what you're getting is cable channels like, you know, the A and E Network or the Food Network or Discovery Channel or whatever. Um, you're getting a lot of those, uh, th those cable channels. Okay. So if you like live TV because you want to watch the episodes right when they come out, then Philo is great. However, most of what you're going to get on there, you can get on streaming services like Discovery Plus, uh, And that one is what, five or six bucks a month. It's like, it's nothing. Um, and you get a ton of that uh, formerly cable-only programming. Uh, so a lot of those shows, I'm not saying you get absolutely everything from every channel, uh, from every network or whatever, but something like Discovery Plus is going to have just about everything you want to watch. Um, it just shows up a little bit later. So anyway, uh, so Philo is great, but I think even it is starting to show its age a little bit. Just any any live TV streaming service is starting to show its age a little bit in the face of something like Discovery Plus or even something like Pluto TV, which is going to have some knockoff channels that'll give you a lot of that same content uh, in a live TV format. Um, Pluto does it. Uh, Tubi does it. Um, the Roku channel does it. Um, so yeah, I... 
So I, I, I struggle a little bit with Philo right now, um, where I'm not trying to say that it's not a good service. I'm just not sure that it's as relevant now as it was a couple of years ago. Uh, if that's fair, I hope that's fair because I, I like Philo and I want to be fair to them. So, um, all right. So let's see what else we got. Uh, Lynn McDonald, the 4k goes with 4k TV, right? Won't work with others. Yeah. Okay. So this is a great question. Uh, so a 4k device, uh, will it turn your TV into a 4k TV? No. And this is where, man, I wish I had my graphics right now. <laughs> I put something on screen. Um, with a 4K setup, think of it this way. You have a device, you probably have a cable, uh, like an HDMI cable, uh, and you've got a TV. And then we could even throw sound in there as well. Maybe we can talk about that in a second. But whatever the weakest link in that chain is, that's the limit of your, uh, your picture potential. So if you've got a 1080p TV and then you plug a 4K device into it, you'll get 1080 picture, not 4K picture, uh, because the TV is only capable of outputting 1080p. Now, let's say you've got a 4K TV uh, it's a newer TV, great, I got a 4K TV, and then you plug in an old Fire Stick or a Roku Express or something, something that only does 1080 picture, then it's only able to put 1080 into your TV. Your TV might do some gimmicks to try to, uh, to uh, what, what do they call it, upscale your picture uh, into 4K picture, but it's not going to look as good as real 4K. Really, you're just watching 1080p. That's your limit. And then similarly, if you have a really nice 4K device and you've got a really nice 4K TV, but you've got a crappy old HDMI cord that isn't capable of translating or uh, transmitting 4K data, then you'll only get what that cable that cable is capable of sending. So does that make sense? Every link in the chain needs to be at a certain level for you to get that level. So there you go. And then sound is a very similar thing. So you may have a device that's capable of putting out Dolby, uh, what do they call it, Dolby Atmos sound. But if you don't have a sound system that's capable of taking advantage of that, then it doesn't really matter. So uh, yeah, so you have to take a look at every link in your chain, whether it comes to video quality or sound. There you go. Um, hey, this is good. All right. Um, Showtime. William Max says Showtime is doing two months for ninety nine cents. Is that sh is that you can actually do that through Showtime, or is that one of those ones where you need to go through the uh, Prime Video channels to get it? Because I know Prime Video channels has a ton of deals um, like that right now. They're trying to get people to sign up for their premium channels through Amazon so that uh, so that that you know, they can take their little cut of that money. Um, which is fine, you know, it's it's fine. They're trying to provide convenience to people and if they bite, they bite, great. Um, but I'll be interested, yeah, let me know. Uh, George, hello, glad you can make it. Um, I am only gonna be going for a few more minutes, but I'm glad you got here. All right, uh, let's see, Frager Hoskin. Have you heard of TV Mob? It's an app you can sideload onto a Chromecast or Fire Stick or even Android tablet. It gives you every single cable channel free. I haven't heard of it. There are a lot of these services out there and I generally do not recommend them on several different grounds. Um, for one thing, I don't like encouraging the pirating of channels and feeds and content just because the more they get pirated, the more people, other people have to pay for them to actually get them and the less, uh, the less money goes to the actual content creators. Um, so I don't like it for that reason. Um, but then also a lot of these devices or a lot of these services like TV mob, I've never heard of it. And chances are it'll be gone in three to six months because it's like whack-a-mole. These things keep coming up and then they get shut down, uh, because they're violating, uh, you know, they're, they're violating frankly the law. Um, and so they get shut down and then you got to find a new one. You got to sideload the new app and you upload that. And then it, you know, three months later it shuts down. So you got to find a new one. And that, it just not worth the trouble as far as I'm concerned. So uh, I could probably go on about that stuff, but I actually did a video about this maybe six months ago or so. So you can look up uh, on our channel uh, some of my old videos on that. Um, 
Uh, what what? Yeah, I can't remember what I titled it. I have to gotta look it up. I wonder, you know, I wonder if I can find that old um, that old video. Cause yeah, now now I'm curious. I know that uh, I know that I've talked about that before. <laughs> I know, I know. Riveting video. Where's that video that I did? Do oh boy. Um, oh yeah, I think there there's one I did called um, how to sideload apps on Fire Stick and three reasons not to bother. I kind of got into it in that video. I know so um, yeah. That's anyway. Point being, that's why I don't really recommend those or talk about them much. So. Um, Frayden says, uh, Hulu is doing 99 cents per month for a year for ad supported tier. Dang, that's awesome. Okay. You know what? I think I did see that, but uh, I've had a busy morning, so I forgot about it. Hulu, 99 cents. Let's see what it says. 99 cents per month for a year. This Black Friday for, oh, okay, awesome. So let's see what the catch is. Where's the catch? but you need to act by November 29th. Okay, so we have through uh, Cyber Monday on that one. That's great. So where do you go? You go to Hulu, right there, Black Friday, main event, 99 cents a month for a year. That's ad supported, so 85% off. That's not bad. <laughs> Regularly seven bucks a month, cancel anytime. So yeah, there you go. That's interesting. Um, ends in, yeah, three and a half days. So that's a fantastic deal. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. Definitely recommend it. Hulu, Hulu is, um, I feel like it's kind of receding from the forefront of our attention as, as a streaming service. They haven't had a mega hit in a little while. Um, and so they're kind of receding a little bit, but they, they've got a ton of good stuff. So yeah, still very much recommended. All right. Um, yeah, George says, I don't think it's the place to talk about piracy. Yep, agreed. Hopefully I, I said my piece on that. Um, William Mack says, you can buy it through the Roku. That's great. Uh, you can also go straight to Amazon, or sorry, to Hulu.com and do it there. Uh, YouTube TV is doing the 99 cent two months Showtime and premium channels. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so I, I guess Showtime is probably... I wonder if Showtime is trying to just pick up, they're doing their own subscriber drive and they know that it's gonna to be tough for them to get people to go to showtime.com or whatever it is. Um, and so they're just using prime channels, they're using uh, uh, what YouTube TV, trying to find different avenues where people are, are gonna be signing up. Maybe on uh, the Roku channel, I know you can do premium channels there. So yeah, there's probably a few places you can do that. All right. Um, I lost my, oh, there's my live stream. Okay. Let's see. They're selling an Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max for 35 bucks on Amazon. You're absolutely right. Yep, we actually talked about that a little while ago, but I'll put it back up on screen now. I love this, you guys. This is so much fun that I can, I can like look at my device. Give it the side eye. Oh yeah. Okay, 35 bucks for the 4K Max, the Fire Stick 4K Max. It's a great deal. We've got that one. We've got the Fire Stick 4K for 25 bucks. Um, and those are good deals. The ones I don't recommend uh, are anything without TV controls. So we've got, um, this is the Fire Stick Lite. I was saying this a few minutes ago, so if you missed it, then I'll say it again briefly. Um, these days, at these prices, I don't think there's any reason to get a non- Sorry, let me put my Facebook. Hey, there I am. There's no reason to get a non 4K device without TV controls. Um, you can get a 4K TV controlling device for so cheap now that there's really no reason to bother. You just get, um, yeah, okay, so here's the streaming stick 4K. Uh, this one is, uh, what are they selling it for? 29 bucks. So 30, 30 bucks, call it, for uh, the streaming stick 4K from Roku. Um, yeah, where was the other one? 25 for the Fire Stick 4K. 
35 for the uh, 4K Max. Yeah, the, these are all amazing prices. So if it's the Roku Express for 15, hard pass. Uh, if it's the Fire Stick Lite for 18, hard pass. Don't get them. Um, I did find this one. I thought this one was pretty good. So here's something to watch out for as you're shopping, especially as you're shopping on Amazon. You check out these pages. Uh, this one is the Echo Dot. And I know this isn't a streaming TV, but it, it can help you with your streaming TV setup. Um, but look out for these uh, deals where, um, okay, great. I can get it for 19 bucks. Amazing. That's 63% off. Um, this is a good deal, I think, especially if you're looking for a device that isn't going to play. Um, you're not looking for it to like be a serious music device. You just need something that'll take commands. Um, then the third gen Echo Dot is still good. Um, but with the free color bulb, if you've never used a smart color bulb, they're really good. I recommend it. But watch out for this. Um, in stock soon. Always look right here where you think, oh man, this is ama an amazing deal. Well, you weren't the first person to think that apparently. So in stock soon means it's not on in stock right now. Um, and this may not come until mid-December. So anyway, they're still, they are still good deals. I still recommend them, but just watch out for stuff like that. Uh, make sure that you know, you know, you're not getting your device overnight or whatever it is. So, uh, so heads up there. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah, that's, that's a great deal. <laughs> George says the problem with Showtime is they have zero good content. I don't know about that. They've got some. They got some decent shows. Uh, they don't. They, it's Showtime. It's time for shows. Okay. Um, all right. Alan J. I've read where HDMI cables are actually similar in quality as far as reproduction. Either they work or they don't. Your take? Uh, if you if you find an HDMI cord that promises the moon you know it says oh this is this thing is gold plated and you know it has the uh, indestructible sheathing and you know all this, like and and they want to charge you you know 150 bucks for an ultra premium super duper hdmi cable no that's not a thing however um hdmi cables oh excuse me like any device, HDMI cables have changed. They've updated, they've upgraded over the years. And so you, um, so if you have an old HDMI cable, it's not necessarily capable of the same things as uh, something from the last five years or so, maybe. Um, and so does that make sense? If something is promising you the moon, it's fake. <laughs> That's not a real thing. But... If you have a 10 year old HDMI cable, it's probably time to uh, to update that. How's that? There's my take. Um, okay, Selma asks, what's the difference in the two 4K Fire Sticks? Oh, okay, great question. So we've got the Fire Stick 4K and we've got the Fire Stick 4K Max. What's the difference? Well, on this page, um, if we look, let's look at this one here. If we look at this, uh, you see right here, our most powerful 4K streaming stick plus Wi-Fi 6 support. Okay, great. Uh, and I can't really scroll down on this page. I apologize. I, I don't have the same uh, normal streaming capabilities that I do on this live stream just because I'm I'm on location right now. So what's the, dif the difference between the two devices? Both of them have uh, 4K, HDR, yeah, what is it? HDR10 plus, all that stuff. Um, it does all of that. They're both equal that way. Uh, the 4K Max, on the other hand, does, uh, it says Wi-Fi 6 support. We saw that there. Um, and uh, it does have some extra capabilities that you normally would only get with the Fire TV Cube. Things like picture-in-picture -picture with your uh, ring doorbell, that sort of thing. So it, it's got some niche uh, uh, abilities that the other one doesn't have. But the most important things on a day-to-day -day basis for most users are going to be two things. First of all, it is a little bit faster. It has an updated chipset versus the regular 4K. So the 4K Max is going to be faster. What does that mean to have a faster streaming stick? Load times are going to be shorter. So you click the Netflix button. It'll get you to Netflix faster. You click on a title. Tell it to start playing that title. It'll start playing a little bit faster. That sort of thing. 
Uh, also, when I talk about a device being faster, I'm talking about the uh, lag time when you press a button. So you press a button and the lag time might be, let's say on a slower device, a half a second. So 500 milliseconds of lag time. You pr push the button and wait a half second and then the thing clicks over on your screen. That doesn't sound like that big a deal. And it, it's not if you only use the device every once in a while. But if it's your primary TV, it's your daily driver, that's gonna drive you crazy. And so the 4K, the, the Fire Stick 4K has a short lag time. Call it, oh gosh, I'd have to go double check, maybe 100 or 150 milliseconds. Um, but then that gets even shorter with the 4K Max. So it's almost instantaneous when you press a button on the 4K Max that it, it moves on your screen. Um, and that's gonna be a big deal if you're typing something out on your screen uh, using your remote. Yeah, it, it will affect your day-to-day -day usage. So having a faster device is a big deal. And then we, we pointed out um, HDR, or, sorry, not HDR, Wi-Fi 6 is what I meant to say. Um, this Wi-Fi 6 that you can see right there on the graphic. Most people don't have a Wi-Fi 6 setup in their home yet, uh, but that will be coming. It's you know going to be the new standard in Wi-Fi. What does it mean? It's a technical thing that I'm not gonna bother getting into right now, but basically it's just faster, more efficient, effective Wi-Fi uh, in your home. And having a device that can take advantage of that newer type of signal just means it like, yeah, it just makes for a stable, faster connection to your router. How's that? Um, so that, again, decreases your load times, your the, the uh, chances that you're going to see the, the loading wheel on your screen, that sort of thing. Uh, so that's what the 4K Max does. I was saying earlier, it kind of future-proofs you uh, so that when you do get, if you don't already have a Wi-Fi 6 router, when you do get one, you'll have a device that's capable of taking advantage of it. So um, I hope that answers your questions. Um, that will maybe determine whether it's worth an extra 10 bucks to you. Uh, in my opinion, it is. Uh, I was very impressed, more impressed than I thought I was going to be when I tested the 4K Max a couple months ago. Um, I, I was impressed. Uh, and I think at 35 bucks when normally it's 55, I think that's a great deal. Uh, and I would go for that sooner than the 25 for the regular 4K. That's not to say that the regular 4K stick isn't good. It is, and that's a great deal. Just for my money, I would spend the extra 10 and get the 4K Max. There you go. Okay. Um, George Hall says, I'm not exactly wanting a new streaming stick. Fine with my current setup. Perfect. And like I said earlier, that means you don't need to worry about Black Friday sales, at least when it comes to streaming devices. <laughs> so if you're happy with your current setup, don't let Black Friday convince you that you have to spend money, right? We don't have to spend our money. It's just a good opportunity to grab some deals. If we, you know, if you were thinking about getting something recently and now it's 45% off, great. Uh, but yeah, that's good to know, George. Um, okay, so let's, uh, Alec asked, what about Amazon Basics HDMI cables? Yeah, great, great, um, perfectly fine. Um, like I was saying, the it's not... It's not the advertised quality of the HDMI cable, although you don't want to get a piece of junk, uh, but it's about the age of the HDMI cable. So there you go. Uh, 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 <laughs> George Hall, just got just get a $3,000 diamond plated 8K HDMI cable with a free one month HBO Max subscription. Perfect. It pays for itself, George. It pays for itself. <laughs> uh do you think someone would buy a Fire Stick 4K Max on eBay for 70 bucks? I bought two this morning thinking I can make a profit. <laughs> no, not for 70. Uh, but if you if you bought two, then wait until like February when they're not on sale anymore. And then, uh, you know, maybe you can sell it for a regular retail price. I don't know. <laughs> good luck. <That's laughs> good luck. Um, Matt Shaughnessy, Apple TV 4K is absolutely the best streaming device on the market, especially the newest model. It is fantastic. I love the Apple TV 4K. One of the great things about it is no ads on the interface. It just no ads. Great. Um, it's also one of the fastest devices out there. Um, some of the other premium, premium devices give it a run for its money in the speed department, like the Fire Cube. That's pretty fast. Um, and so is the NVIDIA Shield. Obviously, that thing is crazy fast. 
but yeah, the Apple TV 4K is fast device. The new remote is much better, uh, and it um, uh, and it doesn't have ads in the interface. So yeah, I love that one. Good call. Um, and I'll, I'll just go for a few more minutes, you guys. Let's see. William, is there such a thing as a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot? If I, said, if I said it correct, where you can get Wi-Fi on the road like campers or business uh, or business people may use? Yes, yes. Um, go to our channel, okay? Go, go to our channel page and just type in hotspot uh, in the search bar and you'll find some videos. I, I know that Tashaka has a couple. He's got the purple, um, uh, the purple thumbnails uh, or I believe that Juan has done some uh, videos on hotspots as well. He's the kind of teal colored, the blue-ish, teal-ish, whatever. Um, and so if you search hotspot on our channel, you'll find some videos about hotspots, how they work, how much you can expect to pay for them. Uh, I would definitely recommend uh, checking out those videos before you buy any hotspots today. Um, all right. All right. Uh, Freighton says, along the same lines, uh, Craig, with the in stock soon and checking the deal fully before you buy, make sure make sure you make sure. I love that. That's my favorite phrase today. Make sure you make sure it's the newest model of what you're getting. Just saw an Apple TV 4K sale for 160. Uh, yeah, so the 4K, for those unaware, if you are thinking about buying an Apple TV 4K, um, as Frayden points out, there is an older model of the Apple TV 4K. So make sure it's the, was it 2020 when the new one came out? I think it was the 2020 model. Pretty sure that's right. So uh, yeah, if it's like the 2016 model or the 2017 model, then yeah, you, you shouldn't be paying very much for that at all. Uh, but the new one, yeah, you can expect to pay about that 170 or 160 for it. Uh, so yeah, good call, Fred, and make sure it's the most recent device if you're paying a premium. Absolutely. Um, and it was the previous generation with the old remote. Yeah, the old remote. Whew. Not great. Not great. Um, okay, what? although, you know, you guys, I should mention by, uh, with the Apple TV, um, I've got that row at home in my studio. I've got that row of premium devices. I've been using the Apple TV a lot lately. Um, it's always interesting to me to kind of take stock every week or two. Like, what have I actually been using? And the Apple TV has been getting a lot of, a lot of, a lot of playtime from me. So, okay. Let's see. I want to try to keep up with you guys. Um, would the Fire TV Stick 4K Max buffer when loading content? Asks David McKinnon. Um, it depends on your internet connection. So the buffering wheel, it you need to have a good device, but you also need to have a good uh, a good connection with your ISP um, and also a good router that's capable of sending that signal well. So, so will you buffer with the Fire Stick 4K Max? Maybe, depending on the rest of your setup. I talked a few minutes ago about um, the links in the chain when it comes to your uh, picture quality. So if you have a 4K TV, but a 1080p uh, streaming device, you're only gonna be able to stream in 1080p. That's because that's the weak link in your chain, right? So to speak. And internet uh, quality, whatever, speed is the same way. So you can have a really great uh, internet connection. You're, you're paying for 150 megabits per second from your ISP. But if you don't have a router that can handle that, then it doesn't matter. If you don't have a device that can handle speeds like that, it doesn't matter. So the Fire Stick Max 4K, Fire Stick 4K Max, I know how to talk. It's a great device. It's capable of handling uh, very high download speeds. Um, but you have, you got to check your router connection and how much you're paying for from your ISP. So hopefully that answers that question. Um, let's see, George Hall, in my opinion, you don't need a 4k or 8k TV. I have a CRT in a spare bedroom and it works amazingly. Hey, you do you, man. You do you. Um, so William I, let me, let me see. Oh, William I is asking about hotspots. Where do I go to look them up? Let me see if I can pull up the page for you. All right, um, let's do hot spot. Oop, hot spot. 
Okay. I just looked up, oh boy, two videos. All right, we've got one from last year, one from this year. Let me pull up uh, that one. We'll turn the sound off. So Check off your oh, oh, shut up. Okay, good. We'll turn the sound off so we can get to those. The most recent one is this one right here. So if I pull up this one. Page. I don't know how this is going to work, you guys, so I apologize if this is a little janky. Um, but let me... Um, uh, hotspot vid. Okay. So let me see if I can put this on screen. I know this is going to be a little bit weird. Um, 20, 10, 8. Okay, there we go. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. So, You've reached the super villains. Uh, okay, I'm going to turn my sound down. So yeah, there you go. Best hotspot, hotspot subscription services. There's also another one. Um, let's let's go ahead and take that one off. But that uh, so best standalone hotspot plans and hardware. Yes, that is a great video to check out. So uh, there you go. Best standalone hotspot plans and hardware. This is Tashaka. This came out September of this year, so this is pretty updated. Um, and I definitely recommend that one. Um, Matt Shaughnessy, Craig, did you cut your hair or are you sporting a man bun? Well, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> it's man bun day. Sometimes you just got to get it out of your face, you know? Um, so there you go. I, I hope that helps uh, William with the, uh, the hotspot stuff. Uh, so go check that out. I'm going to take that, take that hotspot out of here. Okay, there we go. Um, and I, I'm trying to fly through a few more of these so I can get to as many comments as possible. Um, okay, Alan asks, Google Chromecast over the Fire Stick 4K Max? Absolutely a matter of taste. It depends on what you want to do with it and what you want to get out of it. I love both devices. I think they're both fantastic. Um, I like, I, I, I should say, I like the 4K Max more for uh, integration with other devices, you know, because it's uh, uh, an Echo device is probably the better way to put it. Because it's an Echo device, um, it uh, uh, yeah, integrates really well with smart home equipment and all that stuff. Um, but, it, well... Yeah, we'll just leave it there. It's better for integration. The Chromecast is better because it has Google TV, which I think is a much better interface uh, because it's more driven by the content that you want to watch versus the ads that somebody wants to serve up to you. Okay, so the Fire TV interface is very ad heavy, very suggested content heavy, i.e. ads. Um, and so the, the Chromecast... Uh, yeah, it's a little better that way. I guess, you know, what do you want to get out of it? They're kind of sixes. They're both really good devices. Um, I, and I like the remote on the Chromecast better than the Fire TV remote for what it's worth. Okay, good question. Um, let's see. Are there any good deals? Alec, are there any good deals on Samsung TVs? Because my Roku TV is acting up and I love it, but it's getting harder to use. It's about two years old and I've updated it. It's still acting up. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, my Roku TV is probably three years old now. Um, it's still working okay for me, but yeah, I can see how these, the, the Roku TVs and other budget TVs, they're not going to last quite as long as some others. So are there any deals on Samsung TVs? I didn't keep track this year. I oftentimes will try to keep track of TV deals, uh, just because those are the big marquee events. Uh, but this year I just thought, you know what, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's worth it, honestly. Um, their the TVs are so cheap throughout the year now that um, I don't think that it's worth as much to try to get the Black Friday deals on TVs. Um, and uh, and honestly, I should say this also: uh, we're getting late enough in the day now where it doesn't matter. Uh, the TV deals historically, and I know this year is uh, similar. Uh, when they, you know, they do 70% off this 85 inch, whatever TV, and they, they put 10 in stock at your nearest Best Buy or whatever. 
they're losing a bunch of money on that deal. The whole point of it is just to get you in the door, uh, to get you spending money on other stuff as well. Um, you know, the, the, uh, the classic... Um, the classic formulation is uh, they mark down the TVs, but mark up the cords you need to use them, right? That sort of thing. Uh, and so I don't like those TV deals just because they're super gimmicky. So I, I didn't keep track. It's a, it's a good question, but honestly, TVs are getting so cheap now that I don't think we need to worry about them on Black Friday. Uh, but that's, that's my opinion. If you can't get the 70% off deal uh, as a doorbuster, then it probably doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Oh boy, man, I'm missing. Oh, you guys, we blew past an hour. That was, that was my goal, but I'll try to answer a few more questions. All right. Uh, let's see. And Caleb Richardson, I have an HD TV in my living room, mostly because it still has AV inputs for my classic consoles. Yeah, smart. Nice. Um, I still play my NES. It's, it's got some amazing games. Uh -huh. Let's see. Matt Shaughnessy says, I, I own pretty much every streaming device and use two Apple TV 4Ks, newest models, as my daily drivers. Um, if I were to pick up a streaming stick, I'd most certainly go with Google Chromecast with Google TV. Fire sticks are too clunky, says Matt Shaughnessy. I don't, I don't know about that. I'd say that about the interface, but, um, but not the devices themselves. All right. That's about everybody. So, oh gosh, the connection was unsuccessful. Uh, hopefully it's working now. I apologize. I better stop now. I think my computer's overheating. I got to get back to my regular setup next week. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, and I will uh, see you in a week. And uh, we'll talk more about, or about giveaways and all that stuff. Thank you so much. I'll see you later.